Hello Virgos. So last reading I did, I was kidding that there was some kind of misunderstanding with a soulmate. Um, the divine is pushing them to give this a second chance though. There was something where it's like maybe they, they just didn't know who you really are. Like maybe they just didn't fully understand you. Um, but the last reading I did, I was really getting strong that the divine is really pushing them to give this a second thought. Like maybe there was personality differences or just emotional differences, um, kind of taking you for granted perhaps. I mean, they just had a lot on their mind, a lot on the on their plate at the time that you guys were, you know, talking or the time you guys knew each other. And, you know, now that they're not quite as busy, the divine has been pushing them to really give this a, another chance and, and see if there's potential here. Sense of belonging, home, safe space, fear of commitment, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Let me adjust this a little bit for you guys. Domination, control. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Spying. So it seems like someone is spying on you telepathically. Like they, they might not even be fully aware that they're doing it. Their soul, their spirit might just kind of be astral traveling and coming to you in your dreams without them being fully conscious of it. Because they feel like on a soul level, they know that this is a soulmate or a twin flame connection. They know that this is a deeper connection, but some of them, you know, their, their egos and their minds kind of get in the way. So then we have adventure, honeymoon, and vacation right here. Let me adjust this slide a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit better, I guess. Yeah, someone's definitely spying on you. See, I feel like this person knows that their home is with you. Like, they know... They, they know they feel safe with you. There's a very deep psychic connection here, but then their fear of commitment kind of blinds them from seeing it. It's like they know it, like their soul knows it. Deep down, they know it, but then they kind of hide and run from it. Like they're just not sure how to fully embrace it. I almost feel like some of the misunderstandings in their past and in, in the past with you guys, because that was the energy I got a couple of weeks ago, that there was a misunderstanding. The divine was pushing them to to, you know, look at this again, try, you know, try to like, they, they, um, they misunderstood something about you, like a personality difference or a religious difference, maybe something you've said, something you did. Um, like I said, they might've just had a lot on their plate. So they didn't really, they couldn't give this the, the time and energy that it needed. But I almost feel like some of them, for some of them, it was a, it was a genuine misunderstanding. For some of them, it was them sabotaging it. Like, like they were like happy, everything was good. And they're like, oh, well, she's actually, she's a different religion than me. Maybe not. Or like, so maybe that wouldn't work long term. Or um, he has different political views than me. Or he maybe like reading too much into something you said. Like, oh, I bet this person would have left me anyway down the road. Like, I bet they would have hurt me no matter what. Like, or... Just something of that nature, like, like almost looking for things to, it's like they were happy and like they're almost too happy. So it's like they sabotaged it and looked for things to be wrong in the connection. Like they created problems that weren't actually there for some of them. For others, it's like they really did misunderstand something that you said or there really was an issue. But for a lot of them, it's like it was just self-sabotage, it feels like. But yeah, deep down, like on a deeper level, like they really do know that their home is with you. It's like this fear of commitment just blocks them. And then we have fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. So I kind of feel like they go back and forth. Like there's that fear of commitment, but then there's like your beauty and your mystery and your, your enchanting, you're enchanting to them. And they kind of go back and forth between like, like they want that home to be with you, but they're afraid of it. They're afraid of the risk, the pain of, of the psychic connection of how real it is. So this could be a twin flame connection for some of you because just of the intensity kind of feels like a typical like runner chaser 
um, and Chasey kind of, you know, twin flame connection here for a lot of you. And it's just, yeah, it just feels like they really go back and forth. Like, it's like they start opening their heart, but then they, their denial comes in. It's, but it's self-sabotage. I don't know if they realize it's self-sabotage. Some of them, some of them do realize it. Some of them don't. So it's almost like they like miss you and dream about you and think about you and like, think about like having a home with you, like a family, like stability connection, like being close to you. And then they're like, oh wait, but they you know, there's that one little personality difference or there. It's like they try to find things to be wrong because they're like, oh, it couldn't just be that easy. Like, could we really just be on that path and really just have that together? It's like, so they, they, they open their heart chakra and then they get scared of how open and how vulnerable they are and how psychic and deep the connection is. So then they pull back out of fear and they kind of sabotage it and come up with excuses and reasons in their head why it wouldn't work out. Some of them aren't even telling you the reason. Some of them just like go back and forth with you where they're, they're really open and romantic. And then they're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like they, it's like, it's like they come up with these stupid excuses, um, to protect themselves from getting hurt. But like I said, some of them don't even realize why they're doing it. It's a lot of back and forth energy though. Could be a little bit of a power struggle here. Dominant control. I feel like the power struggle is in the higher realms too because it really feels like someone's like I was saying someone's scrying on you someone is like telepathically like channeling you and like going like looking into you maybe having dreams about you having visions um, maybe even meditating and trying to connect with you through meditation or some of them could be doing magic on you like rituals some of them are trying to send you psychic messages telepathically and they kind of wait and see if you get the psychic messages, but they don't tell you that they sent them. They just kind of test the waters because I feel like they're, it's like the psychic connection scares them. Like it scares them how deep and how real it is. But at the same time, it's very intriguing for them. Like they want to know, like they're kind of exploring it now. They want to see what can be done with this. They're like, okay, is this real? Like, can you really telepathically hear me when I'm thinking of you? And it makes sense if it's a twin flame connection because that's very common of a twin flame connection. Like, it's it's it makes sense. But they are wanting the adventure, the new start, the honeymoon, the vacation with you. But it kind of just feels like they're like spying and trying to like, like they want it, but they're not letting you know that they want it, unfortunately. So it's kind of a frustrating energy here, it seems like. What else do you need to know about this connection? Like I said, if you if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box right below this video. And, the, um, and my donation links are also below. Any donations are really appreciated. So, yeah, thank you guys for that. So what else do we need to know about this? Anger, miscommunication. Yeah, there was some kind of miscommunication for a lot of you. But they're coming into a new perspective. So I think they're starting to finally understand that they misunderstood you. Or maybe you said something, maybe some of you got in a fight and you said something you didn't mean out of anger. Or maybe you said, maybe you felt, maybe for some of you, maybe you felt rejected by them. And so you responded to that and then it was just miscommunication. Like maybe they weren't rejecting you. Maybe they just said something like, I, what would it be? Like, I need, I need some space. I need some time. And they really just meant like they need a couple days to themselves, but you took it as like, they need weeks to themselves. And you're like, you know what? Maybe, yeah, maybe we do need a break. And they're just like, what, what do you mean? We need to, you know what I mean? Like you, you were hurt by what they said. And so you respond, you lashed out out of pain and anger. And then they lashed out in return. It was like a vicious cycle for some of you. But now now maybe um, communication is starting to open up finally. So they're listening and understanding. They have a new perspective. It also says true love and abundance abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So they're kind of like realizing it's 11-11 while I'm recording this video too. That's that's a beautiful number. That's a, that's a soulmate twin flame number for sure. And also a sign of psychic awakening, which makes sense because it's like they're finally exploring the psychic nature of this connection. Like they're finally... Like, I don't, I think they were kind of freaked out by it before. And now they're, they're recognizing that it's real. I think before maybe they didn't, they didn't like, they felt it, but they were in denial about it. Like they didn't understand it. Maybe they were kind of closed off to that stuff for some of them, but now they're like, oh, wow. Like 
it's really weird that I think about them and then they text me like a minute later, like they're kind of, they're noticing the synchronicities and they're like kind of exploring that. And it's kind of like fun for them where they're like, okay, well maybe I'll try meditating on them and sending them a telepathic message and I'll see if they message me back the same day. You know, like they're kind of has testing the waters out. They're like, okay, this is real. Like they're wrapping their head around it. So some of them are going through a psychic awakening process right now. Sadness. Yeah, you guys caused a lot. They caused you sadness. You caused them sadness. And someone ended up thinking it was toxic. But now you're realizing that it's not toxic. Choose a path. Yeah. You're real. Someone's realizing it's actually like, you know, you guys misunderstood each other. Like they, there's just some kind of misunderstanding that led to, to anger and arguments or miscommunication. And now they're wanting to clear things up. Someone's wanted to choose love over fear, make a bold gesture. Like they know that you're the one, but it scares them. I think just that, just that kind of the connection you have is so deep. It's so psychic. It's so intense. And it just, they're not used to that. Yeah, they kind of have to choose. Are they going to be isolated and alone and empty or are they going to take a risk, you know? Because they feel alone around most people except for you. So it's like they kind of have to decide, like, do they want to keep sabotaging good things in their life? Do they want to keep isolating themselves and shutting people out and making assumptions that lead to arguments? Or do they want to take this risk for true love, you know? They have to make that choice. Yeah, there is some hesitation and fear there still. But it seems like they're coming through it. It really does feel like they're coming through it. Yeah, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Feels like they're back and forth, though, because like I said, it feels like they come forward, but then they like feel the intensity and then they like sabotage. So they're still kind of they're still kind of testing the waters. I really feel them. I feel them more than anything, more than physically. I feel them in the astral, like psychically exploring this connection. Like, they might not be super quick to message physically, but I feel like they're very quick to, like, meditate on you and try to send you messages or, like, do spells or um, pull cards or ruins on you, like, di doing divination on you. Um, like, I feel like they're getting into that stuff. Like, if they weren't into that stuff already, I feel like they're opening their mind and they're they're because this connection with you is so psychic, they're starting to realize that this is real. Like, the divine is showing them and they're giving them... You know, that happens sometimes with like a psychic awakening process. Sometimes the divine will like show you proof that it's real. So it's like, it makes sense if they're going through a psychic awakening where, you know, they're probably noticing things like when they think about you, you text a minute later, or, you know, uh, if they dream about you, they wake up and it's like, you message them and you say, Hey, you showed up in my dream last night. And it's like, they're like, Oh wait, what? And they might not tell you that you, that they, that you showed up in their dream. They might just, you know. They're kind of just like, really? Like the divine is like showing them that, that, you know, psychics and magic and all that stuff is real. Like they're, they're, I think they're really going through that awakening stage right now. So as much as it scares them, it's also fun for them. Like I was saying, so they're, they're kind of exploring that. I feel like a lot of them are really researching right now and getting deeper into that, like into the cult, into like scrying, just all that sort of stuff because they're trying to really test things out. So like, no, they might not be messaging physically or maybe if they do, they're not messaging a lot, but it's like they are probably like psychically trying to tap into your energy and, and explore this, the psychic telepathic world, the astral realm, probably a lot more than you realize they are. I mean, the feelings are mutual, mutual, but there's still that, that hesitation. What is the truth and clarity? X, the past. Okay, what about the X? That they're wanting, someone's wanting reconciliation. They're wanting a green light, but they're just, there's so much fear that keeps them back. Some of them are waiting and hoping and praying that it's like you make the move because they don't know how to do it anymore. Like they don't know. Maybe there's like not an opening for you guys right now and they're trying to like they want there to be an opening, but they're not sure how to make that happen. Um, so, yeah, some of them are just kind of waiting and hoping and praying like for this to work. Like I said, a lot of them are doing like work behind the scenes. So like they might not be reaching out, but they're like they're thinking about you and they're meditating and they're scrying and they're, you know, astral traveling and dreaming and doing all that. 
but it's like consciously, I mean, they might be conscious of astral traveling too, but then there's also still the, the ego, like the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the self-sabotage that they have to get through. Some of them are just hoping that you make the first move because they, they don't know how to fully get past this fear. But for a lot of you, it's like their turn to make that first move, you know, because some of them, they messed up and they need to make this right. But it seems like there was like miscommunication on both ends. So there is a lot of things that do need to be cleared up. Yeah, someone's like afraid of someone being guarded and distrusting. This is a deep past life connection too. Chaser, yeah, there is a power struggle. I don't know if it's physically or in the higher realms, but there is some kind of chaser chasey power struggle here. Okay, a few final cards. Just a few, three more final cards. Show me what's up. Three more final cards. Come on. Passion, romance, publicity, social media, divine intervention, synchronicity. Yeah, some of them are really, they're spying telepathically and also on your social media. Um, the passion is there. The romance, the love is there. The divine is trying to push them. Some of them just really have to go through like this psychic awakening kind of stage first. Like they have to, they're they're realizing the true nature of the world. They're they're finally embracing and accepting that this stuff is real, and they're really excited about exploring this now that they they're finally now that they're they finally embraced it. Like the divine has shown them enough proof that all this stuff is real. They they can't like be logical about it anymore. They they have no choice but to embrace it. Like they've been shown the light. You know what I mean? Um, but some of them are are kind of like watching you on social media, like spying, like telepathically astrally spying and the divine is just yeah the divine is you know there's synchronicity there's a lot of synchronicity there on their end especially when again psychic awakening it makes sense there'd be a lot of synchronicity maybe some kitty spirit animals guiding them towards you as well um divine intervention like just their spirit guides just getting them on the right path towards you but again, some of them, they have to kind of, they're, they're really focused. I mean, they're focused on the connection, but they're also like super excited that like the psychic world and all that is real, if that makes sense. Like they're having these like epiphanies and they're kind of like testing it. Like, like maybe like experimenting with the law of attraction, like, wow, like if this is real, like what can I manifest? Like the world is their oyster, you know what I mean? So they're like in this very creative, open, high, you know, high vibrational kind of free spirited energy where they're just like, they're really exploring that right now. And you're part of that, of course, because you have the psychic connection. So you're going to, you know, you're going to come up as they go deeper into the psychic world, you know, they're going to have more dreams about you and stuff. And like I said, some of them are intentionally doing it. Some of them are intentionally showing up in your dreams. Some of them aren't intentionally doing it, but it's like the synchronicity is just there. Like they know it's something they know the, the signs are there with this connection for sure for them. Um, but yeah, they have to go, kind of go through this process and embrace it because there's still that fear. There's still the, the, just that, I think they, I just feel like a, an awkwardness. Like they don't know what to do next. Like they, they're realizing it's like they're, they feel safe exploring it telepathically, but for some reason they're afraid of exploring it physically, which makes me think like maybe there was miscommunication where you guys hurt each other. Or maybe there's still like some personality differences that they're, and again, some of them are just using those differences to sabotage out of fear. Um, but there's still some energy that needs to be cleared up. There's still, there's still some confusion and uncertainty when it comes to like the physical world stuff. So right now they're more in the, this connection is more like telepathic astral realm, like, but again, they might be consciously doing it though, like consciously meditating, consciously astral traveling, consciously doing spells to show up on your, in your dreams, you know, that kind of thing for some of them. But anyway, I hope this resonates. Um, and if you want me to go more in depth into your story, just send me an email. Thanks for watching.